Hello world, welcome back to CyberCrete and today in this video we are going to see how we can easily run our Python code of anything. It, it can be of uh, Flask, it can be of Django, any Python code onto our uh, Heroku app and uh, by doing this we can create a shareable link that is up and running 24 cross 7. So you can simply host a sample project of you or you can simply create uh, your own website and host it there for putting it on resume or for any uh, different purposes. So today we are going to see how uh, the first option that we are going to see how we can actually do it, it with the VS code way and then we are also going to see how we can do it with uh, our uh, normal Google Colab way. So yes we will be doing the Google Colab one too. So I have the Google Colab file here and this is the Google Colab file that we will be working with and the website that we will be using is Heroku. So this is the website that we are going to use. So if you are interested in this video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and just hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future updates. And if you are going to love what I am creating or doing, please make sure to like the video. So with that said, let's get this video started. So I'm just, uh, I was just doing some research, so I will just click close here. So okay, uh, first let me explain how these things actually work. First of all, what we are going to do, either it's VS Code or it can be anywhere. I, it's in VS Code, it's in Sublime or if it is just offline, the code is offline or the code is online. What we actually need to do is to put that code onto our GitHub. This is the first step, put the code on GitHub and then connect the GitHub with this Heroku. So what Heroku actually does, it just connect with your code. As your code is online, uh, because we know that uh, at GitHub we can simply host our code. So our code is online and uh, this uh, Heroku is also online. So whenever you are going to make any changes to the code, Heroku is automatically going to update it because the both are online, they both are synced together. It is, uh, the Heroku keeps on checking that if there is change in code, then Heroku will also change. So this is uh, uh, how we are simply going to operate. Uh, we are going to connect our Heroku with the GitHub and whenever you are going to make any changes with the uh, GitHub code, uh, the changes will be reflected on our Heroku web app. And uh, how it is accomplished? First of all, uh, the code will be copied to this Heroku website. All the necessary requirement files that is needed for your app to run. Because let us suppose you are creating a, a Flask app and uh, you are also doing some machine learning in it. So for that, uh, there are different modules that are required to be installed and for that we are going to be uh, needing a requirements.txt file. So uh, that is the reason why uh, it is highly recommended whenever you are doing any sorts of projects uh, to always use a, a virtual environment because virtual environment what it does, it create a container and inside that container you can simply put all of the require uh, or all, all of the requirements or file or all the things that you currently install like uh, uh, pip install uh, flask pip install uh, json or everything and with just one command you can just make a requirement.txt file that contains hey for running this python file these are the things that should be installed so that is the thing that we are going to require so this was the overview now let's get actually into the code and see how it is uh, to be done so let me just open up uh, my VS code. So first of all, let's see the basics. So let us suppose uh, here is the VS code and what uh, here you can see this is just a very basic simple Python app of uh, simply creating and running the server and here you can see I have just also uh, run the server and I'm just going to close it. So it can be of uh, any code that does not matter. The things that matter here is Along with this app.file, let us suppose that you have multiple files like, uh, like you have template folder or any folder. There are files and folders here. But what is required, uh, the files that are actually required for doing this or uploading it on Heroku are, first of all, you need to create a proc file. So the spelling of the proc file is P-R-O-C-F-I-L-E. So here you can see, just uh, write the same. Don't use any extension, no .txt, .py, .gy or anything. Nothing is uh, required for that. And then you should install gunicorn. So uh, you can just uh, do pip install uh, flask gunicorn and gunicorn will be installed. So gunicorn is the thing that will help our code to keep on running on the Heroku cloud. So this is the thing. And then there is one more important thing that we have already mentioned and that is the requirement.txt file. So uh, for requirement.txt file, what we actually need to do is simply create, uh, if you are having 
let me just small in this. So if uh, you are inside a virtual environment, uh, let me just Uh, close this. Let me just open a new terminal. <coughs> so, so if you have created a virtual environment and you are inside that virtual environment, what you can do? You can just do pip. Okay, let me just delete pip freeze f r w e j d pip fridge and you can uh, just use this colon. And uh, just name the files. So you can name the files R E Q U I R E M E N requirements dot T X T. And what it is going to do? It is just simply going to put all the requirements files. So let me just uh, click it. So here you can see uh, requirement dot txt is created. Uh, here I have created this basic environment which is just of our Anaconda. So it does not matter here. But if you had created uh, your own virtual environment, all the requirements or, or the files that are required will be pushed here. But here, as I know, I don't need all of these. What I actually need is uh, the Flask app. So if you are doing this on Google Colab, you cannot just uh, run pip freeze because there also multiple things are going to come. So uh, let me just show you. So this is the Flask app that uh, uh, I was talking about. So in this, uh, what you need to do? If you need to check which version of the Flask is it, you need to use Flask dot version. And like this, uh, if you have multiple uh, files, you can simply Google like uh, let us suppose you have JSON. So if uh, uh, for some reason you can just simply search if you are using TensorFlow, you can search uh, check check TensorFlow version. Python. So what it is going to, uh, so here also someone have asked it for Google Colab. So you can use this command import tensorflow stf tf dot version and you can simply get the particular version of it. So why this is important because similar versions should match in order to make your code uh, run fine. Because if you are not going to use uh, the code of a specific version, uh, something may break. So that is the reason why you should make sure to uh, run that. So what I am going to do? So in this, in the requirement.txt file, I can uh, simply write flask flask and then double equal to, then specify the version. So if I uh, need to specify the version, let us suppose this version is 1.1.4, I can write 1.1.4 like this. So this is how it can be done. So uh, in this case, I just need this one file. So here is the flask, here is the proc, here is the app.py file. Now everything is ready for uh, to be uploaded in GitHub. So now what you can do, you can, uh, of course, if you know uh, about the GitHub, you must create a GitHub account if you don't have, but I have already have my GitHub account. And if you are a programmer, you must have your GitHub account. Okay, I think I have not signed in. I will just sign in. So okay, now I am in my GitHub and I am simply going to create a new repository. So uh, pay close attention here. Here is the most important part. You are going to create a new repository. You can name it anything. Uh, I can uh, write Python demo and it is fine and just do not create any of this like add readme or anything and create the repository and now here comes the important point if you are doing it uh, locally on from your vs code what you can do you can simply uh, use the github command like this to push the code to the github but if you are doing it on google collab first of all if you are doing it on google collab what you can do you can simply uh, Download the files. Uh, if it is just a single file, you can simply download uh, this app.py. You can simply go here and uh, you can click on download, download as py file. Don't download as ipe and pyb file because uh, this is at, uh, interactive, uh, which means this is required to be run on the browser. But the .py file is required to be running on server or anything like that. So you can directly download .py file, then uh, you need to create a folder and inside that again for uh, let, let us suppose that you downloaded the app.py so it looks something like this and then you created two files one is proc file one is requirement.txt file 
and you have totally uh, three files okay uh, so uh, it will look something like this app.pi proc file and requirement.file uh, just let's supposing that this app.pi file is downloaded then this is the one way but if uh, you want to just if you want you can also connect this google collab with your github so if i go here you can, here you can see uh, save a copy uh, in github so here also with the help of this you can connect uh, google collab with github i'll just authorize github and then uh, you can simply uh, create a repository so here it is going to select the repository which repository i want to create uh, even i can create the new so by this way also so what you can do you can go to your github create a new repository and then simply select which repository you want it to be pushed on so this is the one way but uh, if you just want to make things easy and simpler just download the code add two files first is proc file second is requirement.txt file and then you can simply push the code to the github so let me just uh, do that either you can use the command line or uh, you can simply drag and drop to upload the file so here just for making things simpler and easy i will uh, simply open the files from here and these are the files that are required to be uploaded i will simply drag it here and i will upload the files so once the file are uploaded i will just click on commit changes so now uh, this is processing the file and here uh, our task is done now here comes the important point here we have to create a heroku account here i already have a heroku account so it is showing like this and heroku is just free free for hosting your python files uh, i think uh, up to uh, two projects you can simply host two uh, if you want to host more you have to pay but uh, for two projects it is free so what you need to do you can simply click on create a new app and here you have to provide the uh, app name so the app name uh, remember this app name is going to be the url like if you provide uh, let's say python test me so it will be python test me dot heroku dot com so just make sure to uh, give it a proper name and you can uh, use the server of whichever location you want and click create app so now this is going to create an app but uh, this heroku platform does not know that you where your code is so either you can use this heroku cli so what the cli is going to do it is just going to connect the code that is onto your system with the heroku and you can keep on updating the code onto your system and that will directly be uploaded to this heroku there will be no intermediary of github but just for proper uh, things we should use github so here i already have created my github so here you can see creator host is already showing so here you can see uh, creator host is already showing but uh, if you have not done then you need to connect it and now you have to select this repository python demo so here i will go and search python demo let's click on search and here you can see uh, this name appeared so i'll click on connect and here i have to select the main branch so uh, and then i have to deploy the branch so now everything is going to be starting here so here it is uh, building heroku it is installing few dependencies here and once uh, the things are done uh, our flask app will be up and running so uh, according to our code if you see it is just a simple hello world welcome to cybercrete and uh, it can be of any code uh, it can be a complex python project and yes please remember if you are using any images or anything uh, just don't point to the image use os.path for a proper allocation of the image so here if i click on view so uh, we were encountering this application error and this uh, let me tell you uh, one more point even if you are an experienced developer you are going to make some silly mistakes all the time uh, so if we actually need to fix this error uh, let me just simply close this and let me explain why this error is happening because this can uh, this just happens because i did not explain a few point so here if you see uh, in this proc file what we uh, let me just explain what we actually need to do in proc file so this web is okay web uh, okay 
unicorn you unicorn is the name but but we need to make here run so this run name should be updated to whatever python file is required to run first so in this case uh the name of my file is just app so i uh, write app just do not use the file extension in the proc file do not use the file extension just specify the file that you want to run uh, let us suppose if uh, the name uh, let me just rename this to my app final so let us suppose the name or something like this so what you need to do in this proc file you have to rename it to my app final because this is going to tell which python file to run in the beginning which python files are required to run first that is what this proc file is all about uh, or else we would never need it so these changes are required to be made here and then you need to upload uh, or update this here so uh, the thing that we i have uploaded on the github uh, it is app.py so app.py file is required to be uh, fixed so i will just simply create on the click on the proc file and here i already have Uh, made the changes here three minutes ago, and you can see I just paused the video, made the changes because it took me some time to uh, realize that I just have uh, wrote the name of this incorrectly. So I just uh, wrote it app.py, and then click on commit changes. Here uh, uh, I am not doing commit on any changes, and it is not even showing me the option of committing any changes because I already uh, have created the change in the file, and I don't does not create any other different change. so that is was uh, the reason that is why i was not getting commit changes so because here you can see i just came here on the github uh, on the stack overflow for searching for this uh, same answer for finding the solution then i realized that was silly mistake and once you have committed the changes you can just click on deploy branch and here is the beauty you have done the changes on the github or and then this uh, heroku is just sync with your github So if you are going to just deploy it now, right now, it is going to open. Uh, just grab the latest code from there, and it is going to fix all the errors. So whenever you need to uh, make changes, either if you know about the GitHub, you can simply uh, create push things from the GitHub, or you can simply go here. Uh, like if you want to make any changes to app.py, click on the pen, and uh, you can make changes here. But for now, I am not going to do that. So here, uh, the deploy mission is done. and if now i here click here now here you can see hello world welcome to cybercreed so this is uh, everything that you need to know and uh, this is it for this video and i hope that you have learned something new from this video and if you did and if you did enjoy it please make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button don't forget that and i will meet you in the next one and if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section below so thanks for watching